What the f What's up, folks? Today we're at and we're gonna be biking to work because it's good exercise and it's just good for the environment. You know what they say, bike to work, save the earth. Bro, nobody says that. So here I have a Coleman mini bike. Good thing about these Coleman mini bikes is that they come with a standard hitch straight from the factory, just like this. So you can tow stuff like, for example, a boat. That doesn't come like that. You put down like 12 minutes. What are you talking about? Are you saying this isn't you? Looks safe. Yeah, no, I don't know who that. Well, how did you? here to the spot where we're gonna There's a sign behind me that says no parking beyond this point so we're gonna park at this point so I got my emergency parking brake right just shove this thing right down there it'll be okay this is just about the craziest thing I have ever done ever still full before we take it to the boat ramp I want to see how this thing performs you have a little audience So it looks like it's kind of. So it looks sketchy. Yeah, it looks so. <laughs> you, you literally even had another guy watching over there, like waiting for you to flip backwards. I was just standing there. Yeah, waiting, just waiting like this, watching. Like, so was I. I was waiting for all this. I was waiting for this to like blow up. <laughs> By the way, if you hear something completely explode, it's probably the belt. But I brought like a hundred of those, so we should have enough belts to run through today. I'd say doing a U-turn is probably next to near impossible. So, swing it around myself by hand. Ah. It's still good. There's no bends in the metal. Jeez, this thing is holding up a lot better than I expected. We might have to do a durability test on this thing. Frame is fine. You know what's gonna be interesting? Seeing the belt, how the belt is on the torque converter. That thing has gotta be eaten up. That's why you always bring spares of everything. Spark plugs, bikes. You can't see it, but we have 10 of more of these parked behind there. Over there, in the grass. There's 10 more over there. There's a lot of debate on the internet whether you should use a centrifugal clutch or a torque converter on these mini bikes. And from what I understood, a torque converter basically makes your mini bike like a car with gears and stuff. I went with that. We're gonna need all the gears we can get.
thing's definitely got power. It's just the structure. I guess it just wasn't designed to pull 600,000 because it's not four-wheel drive. And also, it's barely two-wheel drive because this thing will wheelie as soon as I start accelerating too much. Honestly, I wasn't even worried about the wheeling. I was really just worried if this was gonna hold up, but it has sturdy as heck. The metal is awesome. That tiny little bike. We're gonna see how that, that thing pulls the boat. I trust it fully, 100%. There's no doubt in my mind that this isn't gonna work. I mean, I've been planning this for- So after testing, towing the 600 pound rig behind me on flat ground, come to the conclusion that I should have brought sandbags and strapped them down on this front rack right here. So to improvise, we got rocks and sand and water in here, pretty heavy. It'll help keep the bike down. So we're, we're just gonna back this up. Got it hooked up to there. Got my parking brake right here. Obviously my left brake isn't gonna be enough, so I'm gonna be revving it as well. Well, it smells like burnt belt. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> Again, <laughs> this be honestly, I, th I thought the mini bike would just fold right in half. I mean, from the amount of weight that we've been putting on it, metal is awesome. I've never been here, so we're gonna see what this trail leads to. Looks pretty sus. how deep this water goes. Oh, looks like it doesn't go deep at all. Yep, yeah, this whole plane looks like it's this much of water. It's like five inches, it's not enough. All right, well, we backed up the boat, did everything we said we we're gonna do. Let's just head back now. Check this out. Our invasive apple snails, eggs, invasive. Overpop, you'll find them everywhere in the Everglades. Look, there's another one here. I mean, look how look how open that is. I mean, tell me you wouldn't want to just gun it. Just gun it. It'd be nice. We need an airboat for this type of water level, but just a little bit more of water, and we could have. Could have gone all the way down to the end of the earth. This is where the deep water is. That's where the shallow water is. So I have to get the prop over in the deep water. So this whole thing can work. Without liquid of some sort, mud, this whole thing doesn't work. We run on water. 